Let me show you how to build this modern signup form for a travel newsletter without any code or special tools. Let's do it. First, I'll create a new element up here and then hop into contact and forms. There are a few presets, but I'll create a new custom form instead. Just drag out the fields that you need. In this case, first name, email, some radio buttons, and then below the submit button, a checkbox. Now to make a few settings changes, in first name, I'll make it a required field and add a placeholder and do the same thing for our email field below. For the radio buttons, change the title to how did you hear about us? And to add our options, just jump jump into bulk edit and I'll write those out. Finally, the checkbox message will be to opt into future newsletters. Once those changes are made, we can preview to see the form in action and I'll jump over to the settings tab. Change the form name to something like sign up form to make it easier to manage. And since all of the fields above the submit button are required, we'll go ahead and select none. Last thing is I'll change the confirmation message to reflect that the user has in fact been signed up. And the last tab here is where you'll be able to view your submissions once you start getting some. There's actually a lot of other features that can be implemented, like automations, payments, and advanced validation. But for a simple newsletter signup form, we don't really need all of that. I'm going to save and exit, and you'll see the form ready for us. I'll add a new section below with the screen split in half and set it to fit to screen, so it's the full height of the screen. Now that all the setup's done, let's start making it look good. First, I'm going to drop in an image and add a bit of padding to the cell, and then expand the image to fit and round out the corners. Back over to the form, hop into settings. The layout is fine for this. So in design, we're going to edit the form fields, bump up the corner radius, down the border opacity, and change the checked option to a bluish black. We'll use the same color for our submit button and add some corner radius to the button too. Last but not least, let's add in a heading and a few other elements that really tie the entire form section together. And there we go, a full working form section that we can fill out and submit and view the submissions too. Want to see more of these? Check out another tutorial.